Welcome back to this channel for with practice problems for professional actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. This is a problem for exam MFE. Consider the Black-Scholes framework. A market maker who delta hedges sells a three-month at-the-money European call option on a non-dividend paying stock. You are given that the continuously compounded risk-free interest rate is 0.10 or 10%. The call option delta is 0 0.6179. There are 365 days in the year. The current stock price is $50. If after one day the market maker has zero profit or loss, determine the stock price move over one day. And here is the solution. Um, since after one day the market maker has zero profit or loss, the move of the stock was by one standard deviation. That's actually a result that you just need to remember. It's given in the textbook. You must memorize it for the test. If sigma, the standard deviation of the continuous compounded rate of return, is measured annually because we use the annual um, rate of return, it's continuous compounded, but the period of unit period of time is a year, so sigma is also measured annually, then a one standard deviation move over a period of length uh, h uh, is sigma times s of 0, so standard deviation times the price of the stock, um, times the square root of h, and that's because if you, we assume that the uh, returns over non-overlapping periods of time are independent, so that if you have, say, h periods, each of length 1, then the variances over those periods can be added up because the re returns are independent, so that the variance over a period of time of length h is h times the individual variance, so the square root of that is the standard deviation, and that's why the square root of h. And we know that s of 0 is 50, h is 1 over 365, the only one value to find is sigma, uh, and under uh, Black-Scholes model and Black-Scholes formula, the um, delta of the call is e to the minus delta t times n of d1, and delta the dividend yield is 0, so what we have is that uh, the delta, the derivative of the price of the uh, of the call with respect to the price of the underlying is n of d1, uh, which is 0.6179, and then we can look it up in the table that d1 is 0.3. Um, well, but d1 also is, uh, based on the Black-Scholes formula, the natural logarithm of the uh, prepaid forward price of the stock, the ex-dividend price of the stock, divided by present value of exercise price, plus one-half sigma squared t over sigma square root of t. Mm, and in this case, uh, that just ends up being, the option is at the money, so k is equal to s, so, and, and delta, the dividend yield is zero. So this just ends up being r plus one-half sigma squared t over sigma square root of t. And of course, at this point, you can um, cancel out t divided by square, uh, square root of t is just square root of t. So what we end up with is r plus one-half sigma squared the square root of t over sigma. And therefore, we have this treated as an equation um, becomes um, one half sigma squared minus d1 of a square root of t sigma plus r is equal to zero. And if we plug in um, all the numbers, uh, then we get uh, one half sigma squared minus two times 0.3 uh, times sigma plus 0.1 is equal to zero. 
and that's a quadratic equation. It factors out into one half sigma minus one times sigma minus point two, and that's equal to zero. Um, so there's two solutions. The first one is sigma equal to one, and that's too large because it produces an answer bigger than any of the possible answers. Um, so sigma is point two. Hence, the stock price move over one day equals sigma times s of 0 times the square root of h. So 0.2 times 50 times the square root of 1 over 365, and that's approximately 0.52, which is answer b. Maybe just a point of clarification. That quadratic equation that you see there, um, you have a square root of t there. Um, T is the time until expiration of the option, which is a quarter of a year. And the square root of that is one half, so uh, one over one half is two, that's where the two comes from. And of course, point three is what we just calculated above as uh, D1 to make it hopefully clear. But anyway, the answer is B, as you can see. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Um, so the problem belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution belongs to me. Uh, and all rights to the solution are reserved. Well, good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.